extra, extra steamy. Yeah. Good morning from Foggy, Pennsylvania. Um, our campsite last night went off without a hitch. We had at one point a police officer come by and like shine their little spotlight thing on us, but then they just drove off. And I think that that's because mostly like those the people who were there, there was just kids like racing their dirt bikes all over the place and people off-roading and people drinking. And so it just kind of seems like there's a lot of um, illegal stuff that happens and the police get called on a regular basis. I feel like they had bigger fish to fry than us. Wouldn't say it was a good campsite. And it wasn't even that particularly interesting. It's just a bizarre place. But we the steam that we were supposed to see never happened. Raising from the ground. There's a steam. Yeah, so steam for coffee we are seeing. And we're seeing lots of fog. But um, we drove a few, few miles and now we're at another uh, coal area. I'm, I'm getting really interested in coal towns. You used that beard oil again today, right? Yeah. How does it feel? Well, um, I smell good. You do. I, I did notice yesterday that you smooth. smell really good. I smell really good. For like a homeless person living in a van, I smell fantastic. It's it's quite potent. You don't need much. I put like two drops in here and I'm hoping it'll wear down a little bit because it's quite strong right now. What's the... so there's the... one's the oil. Yeah, I got the oil. Oh, where is it? It's right there. Here it is. This is the oil. One's the oil. And it's like vitamin E and a bunch of other stuff. Um, but it smells, they're both like sandalwood smelling. Fantastic. Wax is for kind of molding and controlling it. What's and that it, one This for? one's more for like nourishing and keeping the skin from getting too dry. And it's got vitamin E. So apparently when you put it in regularly, your hair actually grows faster. Yeah. Which, uh, you know, Gandalf, here I come. Mm, you're pretty excited, aren't you? Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah. So the company's called Bubble and Twine. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, it's really good stuff. Like I'm actually really enjoying using it, so I'm totally gonna share it with as many people as I can because this is really, really cool. I've never really been one for uh, scented products before, but this is really nice. This is the other one we got. It's uh, pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice lotion. And it is also, it's really, really nice and smells delicious. He had all kinds of crazy scents, eh? Yeah, so he, many. He had the one that smelled Fruit like Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops is crazy. Which is pretty insane. Yeah. But uh, no, he's, he's good at what he does. He's figured up, he says it's all trial and error. So he's learning as he goes. Which, I mean, we know what that's about. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, he's, he's, get, he's starting his shop out. It's getting some good attention and, and for good reason. He, he's got his heart in the right place and he's really doing something cool with it. I love it. And even his kids were getting involved. Mm -hmm. His daughter was telling me she made bubblegum lotion for her, or bath something or other for oh, herself. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear that one. That was cute. You know, no matter what you do, you can't really make a, a meal on an IKEA children's plate look fancy. No. Not really, no. But it sure does look delicious. Mm -hmm. Pick all the mushrooms out of Shelby's. So we got to the campsite we were planning on spending the night at, and it's not open. No, uh, once again, a little failed research. This time, though, I, this time I, I triple checked, uh, so it's just somebody posting misinformation. But not a big deal uh, because we are in a national forest, so there are a lot of other campsites, hopefully. And if not, there is dispersed camping, so. Which national forest are we in? Finger Lakes? We are the Finger Lakes National Forest. Um, I think, yes. Yes. I think so. Yeah. Cranked it back and forth, and I can't tell. Why are there houses in the national forest? All the campsites, camp, actual campsites are all closed. So um, I think we're a little early on the season. We are almost back in Ontario, so that makes sense. But we found this uh, little offshoot, it's a national forest, so we're just gonna disperse camp a little bit. The road in is, is gravel, so we're all right. Um, we even found a place where somebody had a fire ring, so we're gonna have a fire there tonight. That's the plan. And we're gonna make pizzas. Probably not in the fire, because that would be really hard. To be fair, we only looked in like 
a tenth of the park looking for campsites. So there might be other ones. Oh, I'm sure there is. I just uh, don't have the time or patience to find them. Yeah. I wanted to step into my pants today and I caught my foot and they ripped so much. I yeah, this was like designer rip, but then this, this is just yeah. slob rip. Oh, uh, yeah. And slob stains. You're gonna have stains. Basically, on my pants. you're just disgusting. I need to, like. You're so gross. I need to. You know, I'm gonna have to go back to, to civilization. No. One day. Probably and not. I think I need to revamp my wardrobe before then. I think you need a real sense of style, like Champ. Have you seen his scarves? They're really nice. He keeps them all up here. Yeah, these, so, this is Champ's wardrobe. This is his designer scarf collection. It's really nice. You can see him behind you, you yeah, in the uh, bush over there. You're pooping a bush. Oh, it's the last day in America. You should probably wear this. That's true. We'll be in America tomorrow. Okay, last two days in America. <laughs> he should. He should wear that. Okay. But he's just so, so dirty. He always rolls in things. It's I don't disgusting. even want to put a scarf on him. Well, you put a scarf on him for like 30 minutes, and then you take your Instagram photos, and then he destroys it. <laughs> There's a few cool things, and then eventually we want to make it to Rochester because the day after we're going to go to Ontario. We're almost back in home turf, Rochester. which means we are almost back to work. Yeah, I know. What's I'd rather do this all day, every day, but. Me too. Maybe one day we'll be able to do that. Maybe one day. But That's for the now, dream. For now, I gotta get back to Ontario and shoot people's second bedrooms. <laughs> <laughs> And other weird weird gigs that I get. Um, so I was going to say you could tell them a little bit about the My Maps. We've been using it a lot. I love that app. So it's like Google Maps. Well, it's, it's sort of an offshoot of Google Maps. It allows you to save points and then write any information you need. So And um, it's accessible offline. So it saves to my phone and then I can like see all the points I've written, all the GPS coordinates, little details I've written about them. So I had everything from like cool things I find on like listicles online to like cool swimming spots, camping spots, free camping spots, um, dump sites, YMCAs, just, you know, everything we need to know. I think uh, in the future we'll be sharing that with you guys, our maps, and then you guys can share your maps with us and we can have a little map trade going on, that'd be cool. Yeah, I think it'd be really cool to share our map with our followers. They could see, you know, some of the cool places we've been, some of the cool yeah. places we're going. And yeah. then they can also tell us about places that we don't yeah. know. Maybe they can throw them up on our map somehow. Well, Departures used to do that, right? They used to always include, like, the GPS coordinates of every cool spot they go to. Of course, they never travel North America, so it's not really useful for Yeah, us. if they traveled North America, we would totally be planning our trip around exactly what Yeah, did. yeah, but... Yeah, we'll have to, if you guys look up Departures, they're three guys from Ontario, and they were the huge influence in the, in this vlog. So everything we do, we try to make a bit like Departures, a bit like other vloggers, and a bit like Van Dweller, people somewhere in between. Yeah. But Departures is super cool. The hopes would be to get as good as Departures one, one day. One day. Win all the awards. They're amazing. They are amazing. <laughs>